Hey guys welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix for your WhatsApp video call not working. It's pretty quick and simple. First go to WhatsApp. And I'm trying to make a video call. And I'm coming up. And it's saying WhatsApp does not have access to your camera. Or it's coming up with a blank screen a blank or a black screen. So I'm going to walk you through a couple fixes for that first. If this message is coming up that means that your app doesn't have the authorization to show your camera. So you can either just click on settings. Then it brings you to that setting and this is where you can allow permission to the app itself. And if you can see under the microphone I use this camera. And mine is toggled off. So I toggle that back on. I'm allowing access to the camera. Then I go back to the WhatsApp. I should be just fine to go on the camera. Now once I'm out of that, if it's still a blank screen, a black screen that means there's probably a glitch on the app side of it, and all we have to do is reset the app. So to do that we're going to go back into our settings. Then go to general. Tap on iPhone storage. Then going to find WhatsApp. We're going to offload the app. Offloading the app just kind of resets the app it takes out any of the glitches. It's just like, if you delete the app, and then re-downloaded it from the app store it doesn't do anything to your information. But it resets the app. So once that's reset you can go back to the app. And that should be working fine. Now if it's still coming up with a blank screen, a black screen. One thing you want to check is to make sure that your camera is working you know on its own. So go to your camera on your phone. And if it's still coming up to a black screen, then what I want you to do to reset your phone completely. Before you even go reset it, you can also just try turning off the phone and turning it back on. But if that's not working you can go into your settings. Then go to general. Then go down to the bottom and reset. And we want to reset erase all content in settings. And then you just erase now. It will back up to your backup. If you don't have a backup then you can erase and then back up the first option. But I would suggest you no know checking if you have a backup. And if you do then you can just go ahead and erase now. And back up to your old setting. Now in the end, if all of that is not working and you're still once you've reset the entire phone. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel.